See, I told you we'd be right back. I don't, anybody know how to block these spam calls? Um, because the spam calls fuck up the thing. I'm waiting for y'all to jump back on. The spam calls fuck up my, um, the sound for some reason. So, um, everybody jump back on. Black Pedro's back. Um, Sam my apologies. Um, I don't know how to block the spam calls. I've been, I, I did the little app. The app didn't work. So, I, yo, man, I did the little app. That blocks spam calls and it didn't yeah. work. I put no. I mean, think about it. The other two days we did it. I didn't have no problem, no spam, no nothing. It's so I don't man. know. You know. Hey, we we right back at it though. Savage AF. That's what we do. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's uh, comedian Shane, uh, Black Pedro. You know what we do, guys. Uh, stay with us. So uh, you ready to get into it, man? Yeah. Oh man, are you serious? It's so much. So we're gonna we, we're gonna do the daily run up because we don't do a rundown. We're, we're the type of show that will run up on your ass. Cheers to you, Breezy JJ's, uh, K Job twelve twenty nine. Love you, babe. Uh, Deborah Hyatt, thank you all for jumping back in. Eve, always. All right, so here we are, y'all. Uh, we're gonna end tonight, and I don't know if you caught it, but like they just ended with like a whole hour of Bob Woodward. Um, the 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 latest reporter to, or or I, I should say, latest his, book. The, his latest book is is the is is you know probably one of the greater revelations, um, on the whole Trumpy Dumpty thing because he does have tapes. Um, but we're gonna talk about uh, uh, Bob Woodward uh, live with Anderson Cooper for the past hour, uh, just as we got get into this show. But before that. See what I mean? <laughs> I got I, I I got into it with a with a high school classmate today, over over a meme he he spread and now I just wanna I wanna share it with you guys and and we'll talk about it. But before we get into that, what's with you and your like a lot of people that from your past you're like, do I got to smack this motherfucker? Well, like it's, people it's, that you we, dealt with. We got to talk about it, man. Um, All right. But before we get into that, Saturday Saints. Um, so this another shit I got to deal with is every Saturday I go into work and the Trumpy Dumpty supporters take over the park in Beverly Hills. But um, this this past Saturday, they, they actually marched down the street. Like in front of my Ooh. restaurant and we're like with a with a bullhorn and shit, like yelling at our patio and me and all of us. And I, I want to talk about that. Um, but before we get into that. Oh, dear. Uh, the, South, <laughs> the South Dakota Attorney General um, going home one night from a, a Republican fundraiser uh, thought he hit a deer. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so funny. Thought he hit a deer. Okay. Thought he hit a deer on the yeah. way home. The next day, they go back to the scene and there's a human being, a man, dead in the ditch. <laughs> he thought it was a deer and it was Darren. It was a dude named Darren. <laughs> if we don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk I thought it was that. a deer, bro. Yeah. But I didn't know deers wore shirts. That's crazy. But, uh, oh, dear. Exactly. X, Elena X. Uh, but before we talk about that, LeBron shot the sheriff. Like, but he that, needs to shoot the deputy. <laughs> so that's how that's how uh, L.A. County Sheriff is coming at LeBron James after the the attempted assassination of two uh, sheriff deputies. Uh, oh, somebody got offended. Somebody got offended. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a show called A Chief Lady. Damn, that wasn't fun. That's not funny. Somebody getting hit by a car. You're right. Uh, and it no, could have no, been. No. We, we, trust yeah. me, we're gonna talk about this. It's gonna get. It was real. how she he acted. Me. Is what trust I meant. Me, trust yeah, me. Okay. No, no. Trust me. We we don't laugh at that. We we we're we're talking about how this shit is going down. Um. Uh. But. Uh, yeah. So. Sorry. Sorry. So. Uh. L.A. County Sheriff is coming at LeBron James and challenging him to match the uh the bounty for any information on uh on the shooter of, of those uh, county sheriffs, deputy, deputies, I should say. So yes. but before we talk about that, Savage AF and Miss Adverb, I see you in the building. Thank you for being on time today. Appreciate you, mama. Yes. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about the concept of priceless. 
um, because the city of Louisville, and you don't need to use all of the, the letters that are in there in Kentucky, it's just Louisville, uh, they settled for $12 million uh, as a payout to Breonna Taylor's family for her admitted wrongful right. de death. And I guess my basic question is, is that enough? We're going to start heavy today. I know we built up a little light, but... <laughs> but And we will, we will pepper it with some of... Uh, even though I know we have set things we're going to talk about, we're going to pepper it with some of the stuff Woodward said that I think that we definitely should be aware of. And I think that it will put a little bit of a dent uh, and not in his followers because his followers are a cult and they, they, they'd lick his butt if he said, <laughs> and I don't mean lick his butt in a sexy, like, oh shit, did you just lick my butt? And they lick his butt and like, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, yeah, horrible. Horrible. they're horrible. It's more prison style. But, um, but, yeah. but speaking of prison style, um, you Twelve know, million wasn't enough. That that's the you know that 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 was the sort of execution that Brianna Taylor faced. You know, it's one of those things where you you got to sleep with one eye open when you're in prison, right? And you shouldn't have to do that in your home, especially when you're laying next to your man, uh, you know, as a woman or as a dude when you're laying next to your lady as a loved one. You should feel safe at home. Um, Yo, shout not, out to Living Color. Living Color just jumped on. Um, uh, the, the, the band official yeah the, the which is one of my favorite bands i'd say that they had bad brains in them like who i grew up on and then uh, pedro says he listens to dragon rock <laughs> dragon rock or, like like uh, shang listens to demon jazz or like <laughs> you know spirit funk you know what i mean like it, it, he he takes so many genres and mixes them up it's like devil hip-hop like, he gets into everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, trust me, Shane will Double take. Hip -hop. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll listen to. Uh, but Living Color, uh, the uh, uh, they're in a uh, a Grammy winning, award winning. Thank you so much for all your music and Corey and all, all, all you guys and Vernon. Thank you so much. All right, yeah. so all right, we're gonna get right. back into it. But right, let me so, ask you this: I just want to ask a quick question. 12, you said priceless. Twelve million dollars. Twelve million. Do you think that was enough? I think that um, I honestly don't think it was enough. I, that's number one. Well, and I, number two, I'm glad that they're not looking at it as well. It's over. Um, it's, you I, know, I think some people feel like, well, you got paid. No. Yeah. That, no, you know, that that touches on it for me is where it's like, uh, I, I, you know, and this is this is a capitalistic thing, and America is the 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 shining example of that. Um, I just always think it's weird to put a, a, a you know, a, a dollar amount on a life in, 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 in a sort of way, you know, from, from bounties where it's like dead or alive, $2,000. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's you know, old, I mean? that's like, old Wild Wild West shit, but it's true. You're but, right. Well, I mean, but even yeah, like, even today, right? Like they're, they're asking for, I'm like, they're offering like 175, $200,000 and, um, for for the shooters in in L.A., which we'll get into a, into a minute, but like even in in the in the perishing of Breonna Taylor, they're saying like you know this is a a finite amount that her life and this incident was worth. And how do we know that? You know what I mean? What if one day she created a company that was worth two, three, four, ten times that? Right, like uh, no, I no, I, I agree with you. You know, so, I, I just so think if that, we're gonna if we're gonna think about it like that, like I you know, I don't know exactly how they calculate these things, but it's always been a weird concept to me. But um overall it, it is an amount that in today's society I hope her family can do something positive with for themselves while also realizing I'll say it's not enough in the sense that it's only one factor or one lane of what needs to happen right so we we need that family to get some kind of financial re re retribution because a repair because they that is a loss and this is how america does it so do it right but also there are other legal things that we're fighting for right which is i'm sure you're going to touch on is just you know the actual police involved Right, like, right. You, the simple, you can't the, just the, pay this, this is off. 
it's separate. It's separate. It's a civ the civil lawsuit is separate than you know what they were doing, pretending to them. You know the charges, and I'm hoping that they, that they could still go through with it. Um, but I'm just telling you, a lot of people are mad, saying, "Well, what are you trying to pay us off?" That's just the beginning. It's not. I mean, everybody out there, settle in, because they're still going after them, pretending to the charges to get they get convicted for at least uh, you know murder. At, at, you know, at least, I mean, at, you know, uh, so whatever way we go about it, I think $12 million is a weird number to go. $12 million, that's how much she was worth. What do you think? Um, no, I think it's bullshit. I think that one thing is maybe the family can get the money in, do something, and maybe start some things up where they can continue to pursue it. But I do think they can continue to pursue it. I saw her lawyer on Mar uh, uh, Ari Ari show on MSNBC, and he said he he said no, we're not we're not stopping. I mean, you know, it's still it, on. It can't be. It's just this is just the bill. But it's the bad. largest. It's in the largest uh, payout for wrongful death in the history of Louisville. Period. Makes sense. And still, and, you know, and, and arrest you know. them. I agree. Felicia's right. Felicia Chappelle. I arrest yeah. them. They should go. Is, to it's, jail. Not, it's not over. It's not over. Right. Like this isn't you haven't paid off the tab. It's like it's like when you put some cash down and a card, you know what I mean? Like you still owe some charges on me. You know what I mean? So like you paid some cash out. OK, but that's not the full bill. I think I think. Oh, right, right, right. I think and, that's and, what we're and, all feeling right now. You know what I mean? It's like that is. But not see, the thing the is, full the thing paid. is, so uh, people equate that as justice. Um, European Americans equate that as well. You were given money. You were that's justice, and not realizing they can't hug their fucking loved one anymore. So I think it's it's that that same old shit. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think people gonna stop. I think people are motivated. Um, I know, but I've been at rallies where they have signs up. You know, arrest Brianna's murderers flat out. So I think people are gonna still motivated even though i think it's going to lead to a civil war and then we're all going to have to get gertrude's but <laughs> i know that sounds and bad but it's true and leviathans and it'll and leviathans and i personally Elias. i'm buying some noon chucks because <laughs> <just, laughs> one it looks cool when you beat somebody with noon chucks yeah, if you yeah. just doing that alone they go oh fuck look at that but um i think that the main thing is going to happen and brianna taylor's case is it's already a movement that Money can't, you know, squash it. It's, mm -hmm. we got to get justice for them. And I think that her not getting justice makes people real. I mean, justice of these cops going to jail. I think that the, it's going to make other people realize all the other people that we have, the George Floyds, we still have all those cases pending too. Oh, yeah, man. Those there's are so still pending. To still there's fight. so much shit going on. Yeah, and there's so much, it's hard to concentrate because it's in every other week, it's, Either a black man shot or beat up or, you know, he's unarmed. He's walking down the street eating ice cream. Oh, shit, the chocolate chip looked like it was dangerous to me. I'm a cop. I'm scared. Oh, chocolate chip. And, like, they, they, they make up reasons that the – in fact, I just made – I found an old rant of mine, and I cut it together. I'm going to put it online about the fact that we still are going through this. And this rant was a, had to be, uh, like, a year old. And I was mm -hmm. like, damn. Uh, you know how you look through some videos? I was look. I found some videos. I found pictures of you, which I was like, "God damn, you look like you're 12, dude." You ain't got me you on look, tape. You ain't got me on I, tape. I'm no, I actually do. I actually yeah, got yeah, you doing it. Keep it moving. I got a, There's a video of you. I gotta. I gotta make sure you check it out. I got a video. A video of you, and uh, it's from uh, Denver. Ah, uh, good old improv. Denver, yes, sir. yeah, and then. Uh, so, uh, no, man, I'm just telling you, man, you look like you were 12. I was like, God damn, Pedro. Like, what am 12. I doing on the road with this embryo? He is, <laughs> he's he, nah, he's like six years old. We were You're all here. You put that drink down, young man. You in put comedy, that drink down. In man, comedy years, I am grown. In comedy years, yeah, I no, you're like, man, I'm grown. I can drink if I want to. <laughs> I can buy this myself. <laughs> I can uh, buy it myself. I got ID. But I, well, I, I will tell you right now, man, I think that. They do put prices on things, and I just think it's too late. I think it's too late for all that shit. And even though they got $12 million, it ain't over. It fucking ain't over, man. No. I, that's real shit. So 
So speak, speaking of putting up dollars, man, uh, Savage AF right here. That's what we do. Make sure you're always following the man upstairs if you're looking at it. On, uh, Make sure you follow uh, at Black Pedro and um, follow us. I know he don't fuck with Facebook, but fuck with us. I told you, man, one day after 129 election, people. After the election, I'm going to get back on it. But during the well, election. Well, see, I, yeah, I'm going to just keep track of that for the. And on Facebook, you can follow us, Savage AF. Um, Monday, we had 129 people. And today, so far, we had 78 people. That have followed us, so yeah. thank you so much. We're thank over. We're, yeah, we 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 doing it with that. So you can be aware of what's going on, and I update and post when we got shows and things like that. Yeah. So so be aware of this, right? So yes, uh, we we in the past few days had a, a a shooting, an attempted assassination of two L.A. County sheriffs um, in the Compton area, Linwood. Uh, sorry, in in Compton actually. Compton. And, it's uh, Compton. Yeah, yeah. It's Compton. Did you see and, the uh, video? Did you see the video? So, so we saw we saw a video today of the of the yeah. deputies. Um, the woman, you know, seemed to go into full mama mode, um, just like five years old. I think she's thirty one, and the the other officer, as a gentleman, was uh, like twenty six years old or something like that. Um, they had just come through the academy themselves together uh, fourteen months prior, so. Um, but you can see she, she's got blood all on the bottom of her face. She's been shot in the face. Uh, they've gotten, she, she, she's gotten him to a position. She's getting a tourniquet on the male officer's, uh, arm that it seems to be bleeding out badly. And, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the, she, she, the, they both were heroic in their actions afterwards, uh, you, you know, to be honest, like, and this is what I this is what I'm saying. Like we shouldn't be cheering for the random shooting of any law enforcement. Not like not like no, just random no, just random roll them roll up on just a car sit and, and just starts like y- y'all don't know anything about these people. So like we, we we do know there are bad cops. We do know there are good cops. Law enforcement, cops, FBI, whatever you want to call them, there are good and bad. I know, no, no, there I agree good, with you. There are good electricians, and there are bad plumbers, and there are good fucking. Yeah, the plumber that showed his ass crack is a dentists. fucked up human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, yeah, plumber, if you're a plumber, come over to my house. Don't show your ass crack. All right. Pull your pants up. That's not like the song. Pull your pants up. Come on, but, yo. Um, but, but I mean, let, no. Let me, tell you, let me tell you what, real quick, before I hand it to you, Shane, let me tell you what the response is not. Is is when the L.A. County Sheriff comes out and challenges LeBron James and says, you know, that he had interesting comments about, you know, basically how police behave, but uh, he wants to see him put up and match, you know, like a $175,000 reward to find the shooter of of these uh, deputies. And I'm like, you know what, bitch? Stay in your lane. Like yesterday, I was. I'm. I'm like, and still today, I'm. I'm. I'm on the police, the 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 sheriff's side in this point, the deputy side, those who got shot, and saying that this was wrong actions. But your motherfucking your sheriff is out of his goddamn mind if he wants to redirect <laughs> this to fucking LeBron James and put it on his shoulders to somehow carry like what this that got to do with a motherfucking like, thing exactly. How, how are these? No, I mean, it's like it's the same old shit, man. It's like we have to be res- we have to be more responsible. We always got to be the one. Black folks always got to be the ones that's more responsible for everybody. But they ain't got to be responsible. OK, sheriff or cop, then you be responsible for the last fucking murders. And you put out your money and you ask LeBron to put his money out. You put your money up. Y'all the ones supposed to be to serve and protect. But if you want to go back to the ice cube joint, and, but it basically serving and protecting is basically break a nigga's neck. That's what the fuck y'all be doing. So how dare you even think that you could just have that fall out your mouth with your bitch ass. And that's part of the reasons I'm having a hard time with the officers, even though I think they, I saw the video, I, I thought that what she did was heroic and it was heroic. But it's hard for me to have full empathy. I have some empathy, but part of me is like, how many black men that we didn't see on video have you flat out fucking killed that were unarmed? How many black men have you railroaded into the prison uh, system and never got out because you railroaded? They were trying to, 
This is how bad I look at cops now. They were trying to have some kind of way trumped up charges on Breonna Taylor so they could get off. And a lot of shit was hidden with that. So yeah. it's hard for me to look at them, especially when you call out LeBron. Like LeBron matched the money. Who the fuck do you think and you by, are, by, bitch? By the way, eat, sheriff, a eat a bag of dicks. This current sheriff. Uh, hey, Donnie. How you doing, babe? Good to see you. Uh, Bermuda's in the house. Uh, this sheriff, his name is uh, Alex Villanueva. Right? So, like... You know, Latino by name, at least. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Did you say by name? That's fucked by up. By name, at least. Hey, hey I, I'm the same, right? By name, uh, you would think I was something different. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So the, the reality is, man, and, and I see people commenting, uh, AJ Fit, I, you know, I saw you, I think you said, you mentioned like uh, the, the internal gangs within uh, the LAPD. Um, there, there's also uh, whistleblowers about similar gangs in inside the uh, the county sheriff's office. Uh, but realize that the FBI in 2013, and I've said this several times on this show and podcast, that um, in 2013 the FBI released the results of a two-year investigation that revealed that most urban American police forces are rampant with KKK Nazi white supremacist presences and organizations, right? Down to uh, white supremacist, like, like swastikas graffitied inside. And they do this little symbol, which room. is not this symbol. Yeah. There's a symbol they do. No, no, we do this for them, and we, we throw it different ways, but different symbols get co-opted, right? The Nazi symbol, if you twist it, it becomes a, a, a you know, a sort of, I think a Buddhist or some other very peaceful. Right, story. right. No, yeah, but the thing is, you're absolutely right about the fact that, um, you know, they, the police officers have this negative reputation, even though there's good cops, and these two might be good cops, and they might have been, they ran into a bad situation, but how many black men have run into bad situations? So it's hard for me, the, the scales of it, and I don't think you should be yelling at the hospital, let them die. And there was only five people. They said it was it was hordes of people. It was five motherfuckers doing that. It wasn't a ton of people doing that. I would never do that. But at the same time, I'm trying my best as an old, a old nigga in the game to actually feel like empathy for these motherfuckers. It's like, if okay, say they're good cops or good sheriffs or deputies, but... What if they did dirt? And I, I just like they yeah. with us. Pedro's walking down the street. I don't like the way he looks. I'm, I'm an officer. I'm having a bad day. He, you know what? He looks like the guy that fucked my wife. Oh boy! And you automatically are in danger of death because he's having yeah. a bad day. Some cop would have having a bad day. How many times have you had a bad day and say, you know what? You know, fuck it. I'm gonna go shoot some cops. Yeah. Apparently, this dude, whoever he is, and he don't have to be black. We don't know if he's black, white, or whatever, Mexican, whatever, because they don't have a clear picture of him, and nobody knows what it is. But I'm Although, telling you right now, maybe he had one of those days like, oh, y'all, and he picked a random person, just like cops yeah. pick random black people to pull over. It was a random cop shooting this I time. I mean, you know, look at, look at Nipsey Hussle and shit like that, right? Like, motherfucker, you know, sometimes motherfuckers just... It's the wrong shit at the wrong time, and you know, you know. But to get behind like just a random act of violence like this, like it doesn't. That's not. That's not how the scales of justice really work. And 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 like I said yesterday, I'm really gonna challenge y'all on this idea that like, if you're really asking just to go up and start shooting at at the police or any form of law enforcement. Like, are, are like is your community prepared for the backlash from that? Because that's not that's not something that's gonna go lightly. It ain't. It's not country. gonna be nothing nice. Like we we but, know that we see what's going on in this country. So like that's not gonna you, that's not just gonna be like yeah we got them and they learned. <laughs> and then you don't go <laughs> to watch him. Why you make runs and shit at the end? Because, yeah, you know, Even if you're like, mad, you ain't supposed to go. Yeah, you know, that, like yeah, <laughs> we got them crackers. And they learn. And, 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 and AJ Fitz too. said it might be a woman because it might have been a woman. But um, end of the day, it's wrong. It's all fucked up. And we're not ready to fight the cops. But 
empathy wise, if you're asking for empathy, it is difficult to have empathy for an organization that consistently has shown disdain for the human lives of black and brown people, period. And they've shown it over and fucking over again, over again. And this is a, compared to the amount of tape I've seen on murders from cops, this is yeah. bad. It's absolutely bad. So I don't want nobody to think I condone this shit, but I can see where somebody might have gotten to the, yeah. their last, like, fucking, okay, fuck it. It's on. I can yeah. see that. Now, it's wrong, but I can see it. It's like um, the Chris Rock, you know, but I understand. But like, I understand. Here's the thing. You ain't supposed I, to do it. Right. But I understand. But I understand. There's a reason to kick an old lady down the flight of steps. Just don't do it. <laughs> you um, just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, we, we, we understand the feelings. It's just if we're not, like, you, you got to understand that there are consequences for actions, guys. So, like, you you you, you got to think out the whole step. So, like, did, let's not let's not champion the idea of this tit for tat because right. y'all, y'all aren't their tat is not your tit. Like, they, it, it's they got way more tat than you got. Tit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded. They they tat is bigger than your tit. And yeah, your it's tit ain't, your tit. You you got your tit ain't gonna fuck with that tat. If you got titties, you know, they got tatties. They got tatties. Yeah, they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they, they got, got, they, yeah. It, but I'll give you an example. There was a shooting in uh, Bank of America got robbed. This is like decades ago. And the, the shooters were in full body armor and had armor oh, piercing yeah. bullets. That was crazy. It's one that, of the, yeah, that could shoot, shoot through a car. If you're on the other side of the car, they're going to kill when, you because it'll go through a engine that's when the cops. That's when the cops realized they had to muscle up. Like, the cops had to, in that shootout, they had to go to local gun stores and commandeer um, ARs, like assault rifles and machine guns, and, like, in order to fight these dudes. Like, these niggas were, like, <laughs> he was ghost riding the whip. Like, he was, just, like, one dude was just, like, letting the car coast and he was driving, and the other dude was just, like, behind the, in the trunk, like, just pulling weapons out, like, yeah, got, 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 got. They were shooting through cinder box, like, that changed the way yeah, LA, and LAPD and, and, and they had to get a and the nation they had to get a sniper uh, a SWAT yeah. you know the SWAT sniper because they were shooting him and he was just taking it because he had full body armor on had to shoot him through the eye hole because that was the only place that he wasn't going down and he was so I understand why the cops do that but they use this military fucking force and might on regular motherfuckers okay. And that's what part, when I see them use tanks and they're in Charlottesville with tanks and they're not running over the people that actually came down to the start shit that say Jews will not replace us. And it was a bunch of Nazis down there. People said, no, there wasn't. That's the thing I hate when I get on online arguments. They said, no, it wasn't. Do yes, it. it fucking was. There was Man. flat out like swastika Nazis down there. I ain't seen not one of them get run over with one of those tanks, but I seen not the protesters right now, get run over with the tank. Yeah. But, um, yeah. you know, for, for this sheriff to ask to like try and deflect this to to LeBron James, you know, this shooting and, and sort of the response, like somehow like LeBron James called for this violence. You know, I just wanted to be understood that, that that is definitely not what happened. Like in no way has LeBron James or any of these athletes or the, any protests, BLM or any of that called for this level of violence. Now there were people out there shouting, "I hope they die." But to be honest, right. that that I, I don't believe that's a place that anybody should come from out loud. It's it's a way to feel inside. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying I don't feel that, but like like the Chris Rock joke. Sometimes I feel like doing a a windmill kick on a fucking old person's forehead. You know what I'm saying? Like because. They're driving. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I wish when I go to work on Saturdays, I sometimes I, in the voice inside my head is like, do not run over the Trump supporters. Do not take your car <laughs> and plow them into the, Well, you know, Pedro. Like I, I have to say that inside my head because my feelings are like, I should take my car and just run over as many of them as I can. And then get a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. <laughs> what fuck is it. wrong with you? Hey, by the way, the, the uh, by the way, that's the things that's being expressed by Black Pedro, 
Uh, Savage AF does not condone or <laughs> condone neither, running motherfuckers over with your car my brain. unless they neither, neither right does my brain. A, unless they but smack on your car and go, I'm yeah. gonna smack on your car and you ain't gonna do nothing. Now that's different. <laughs> no, even that night, I didn't. you allowed to run over. Nothing that night. My feelings said. I know, hunt, but you wanted to get back down. in your car and find the yeah. motherfucker. My so. brain said. My brain said, <laughs> just go home. And typically, my every every time my brain is won so far, and I'm gonna go with my brain, but. I get, I get the feelings, y'all. I get the feelings, but let's not let that overwhelm us. And obviously, LeBron James ain't responsible for none of this shit, so he don't owe no. Right? Why don't he? If, if he talking about money, why don't he ask the owner of the Lakers? If if you talking about big money, ask the owner of the Lakers to do it. Why don't you go ask somebody, a European American or a Caucasian or a Caucasoid, to pay it? Why has it got to be LeBron? If it's about the justice and finding the motherfuckers that did it. That was just a racial ploy, and by saying it's LeBron, and he can eat a bag of dicks, and I hope, and I hope that he gets kicked in the nuts by a uh, giraffe, and because the giraffes got big ass hooves, and I know I saw a thing, and the giraffes when they kick you, that's a, it's a wrap. You did. I didn't know giraffes could kill lions. I just watched the thing where the giraffe kicked the lion, and the lion was like, "Oh shit!" No, now, now if you put a giraffe in a lion. No, they said the That's kick a, from a giraffe is like if you got hit by a semi-tractor trailer. <laughs> Nick, it's like getting hit with 52 legs. <laughs> it's like, it's so exactly. many legs in, in one leg. Like, so many legs. Like, like I know that sounds leg. weird. People are like, why are you watching this? I was watching some animal show, and the giraffe, I thought, oh, shit, this lion's going to eat this giraffe. And the giraffe stopped and said, nigga, do you see my hooves? <laughs> and killed the lion. Dead. It was like he fell over and died. And then I thought, from now on, I'm on anybody <laughs> like this fucking chair. I want him kicked by a giraffe. You rolling up <laughs> on a giraffe like, fuck with me, my nigga. Let's do it. <laughs> First of all, if you get Nobody kicked by in a, here knew that. If you get kicked by a giraffe, you deserve it. And let me tell you who does deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> now we just got <laughs> off the rails. Segway. You know who do deserve to get kicked by a giraffe? Hey, if, if giraffes are kicking... Put this face in front of that hook. Uh, it's going to yep. be a, possibly South Dakota Attorney General. And I'm going to say Oh, again, my God. Yeah. Attorney General of South Dakota. His name is Jason Ravs. It, he's missing too many vowels for me, but it's like Ravensborg. Uh, R-A-V-N-S-B-O-R-G. There's like a, an I or an E or something missing in my mind, but it's Ravensborg, R A V. It doesn't sound right. I don't, I don't want it. Doesn't, did he's you say it right? It doesn't sound. He, well, the, yeah, well, yeah. The, but the, the thing last, is, the, he's the, the top. Most important, top. The most important letter is the, the R after. He's, a, he's R. a Republican. And like you say, give it away, Shane. He's the what? He's he's the a, what? He's, he, he's, he happens to be a European American. And he's and the top. The he's top the top cop, cop for top that. Cop. By far, top cop. Um, also, in the state of South Dakota, in, in the state of South Dakota. So let me lay out the story before you go in. Uh, uh, it's true. Let me see. Uh, Ten thirty p.m. Saturday night, uh, his Ford Taurus hit a large uh, figure in the dark. Um, he phoned Hyde County Sheriff again. Remember, he's top cop. He called the sheriff's office to report he thought he hit a deer. Basically, the next day he goes back, they find a dead body in the ditch. Uh, the, the, the dead body was a Joseph, a 50 year old Joseph Bover of Highmore, South Dakota. Right. So he thought he hit a deer. Apparently, it was a 55 year old dude. This and again, I think is you the can tell a difference. The top cop in the state of South Dakota coming from a Republican fundraising event says he wasn't drinking at all that night. Can produce witnesses Shango. I'm just saying right now, number one, if you did think you hit a deer, why would you stop your car and see if you hit a deer? And a deer will literally fuck your car up. There's no way that if you hit a deer, it literally will fuck your car up. So I think that he did know, huh? Time out. So he what? did. He did get out of the car. He found pieces of his own car in the road. Said he looked around, 
When the sheriff came, the sheriff said he looked around. They didn't find no deer or no body or no nothing. Next day, Joseph Bover, 55 years old. So it's called, the, it's called what cops do. It's a cover up. It was, he was covering it up. And, oh, no. and, and I think it was a cover up. And I hate when people try to act like you can't call these bitches out. That was a fucking cover up. Flat out. Come on. No, like Miss I Adver looked around. Miss Adverb, I see you. He, he, she said he found pieces of a deer. No. I mean, I, you, 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 you would think, or like when you hit a deer, you're going to hit, but there was no deer meat, no jerky, no goddamn, uh, you know, shame. Nothing. No, no steak or nothing, no filet cut. You didn't, see, you didn't see Bambi run off into the woods and go, Mom, that's fucked up, Mom. Which it actually was, kept the whole movie going. Because yeah. it always happens in the Disney movies. That's what they the do. mother they always gets killed. And then or the father, the mother you, Yeah. yeah. And, and if now you look at Lion King, the dad get killed. Mufasa got killed. If you look at <laughs> Bambi, the mom, it's always that. Disney movies are like, fuck it, kids. You on your own. Your parents going <laughs> to die. What the fuck you going to do? Grow up. That's what Disney movies are. They're like, grow the fuck Every up. Disney movie. Think about it. Stop watching every, cartoons every... and go fucking kill something. Um, this, so that's but what he, apparently he didn't. Uh, he didn't Jason, look around thoroughly. Then I don't what, think he looked around thoroughly. Well, I, you know, listen, bro. We don't like to speculate on this show unless it's fun or funny. Um, <laughs> and I think it's funny <laughs> that the top cop. Is <laughs> I think this is funny. Well, that's really top, funny. Then we yeah, can yeah, all day do it. That's what we do. But I think it's funny that the top cop in South Dakota calls a lesser cop. It's like. I think I hit a deer. I don't see no deer. You see a deer? I don't see no deer. And then they come back the next day and they're like, oh, deer, it's a dead dude. Um, and, you know, and I know I wasn't drinking and I got witnesses that I wasn't drinking. But drinking ain't the only thing that can have you out there, dog. You could have been on coke. You could have been on weed. You could have been on anything. You could have been on purple. He could have been on motherfucking NyQuil. Right. All kind of but shit. Prescription. Shit. I don't think them he's scripts, going. He's... Them scripts. What kind of pills he popping? Let's check his. Let's check his doctor. You know what I'm saying? So don't give me that drinking shit. Because DUI ain't just about drinking. It's 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 it about be a bunch driving. Of shit. Under it's the about driving while a you're. Bunch of shit. But but uh, you know what? The fact when I saw the story, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I just thought they since he called the sheriff, that was his alibi and someone to cover it up. That are all with under uh, people forget that means everybody's underneath him and their jobs are on the fucking line so they'll say whatever they want <laughs> to keep their jobs he, he's basically like somebody killed this dude i hit my car with find him <laughs> it's like motherfucker it was you uh no. i think that your retirement's coming up if i hit him with my car but somebody killed him find him <laughs> I'm going to lunch with the governor. Yeah. And by, by the way, way don't bother same... me while I'm in my office because I'm your boss. And Think and, about and, it. By the way, his, the, the cousins of the deceased are, are riding out. Uh, Nick and Victor Nemec, they're like, this state has a long history of covering up bullshit. You know, like, you know, these sound like some good old boys. Like, so clean, like mama. What the Dukes of Hazzard was built on. They're like, you know, got the dang down government. And you know what? And if I got to, I'm going to do what I got to. But, you know, like, they're like, they've been covering up shit. And my cousin was a good man. And, yeah, he liked to fuck squirrels, but I don't give a shit. I don't mean to dinner. You know what? Dude. He but, was you a know, squirrel fucker. I'm going to give you that. But, 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 honestly, they're in that state where South Dakota, that, that's, like, one of those states that never declared any social distancing or COVID rules at all. Or no mask. This, there this was no mask. Led, led by a Republican but, woman, know me. Uh, you know, it, and... and women tend to be better leaders. So it's, it stands out when you're this Republican chica that can't fucking get it right. That just can't. You're meatpacking. Oh, no, she's blow. a shitty, like, shitty cunt. No, no, no. Bring but fucking, they, you want to bring a bike rally to your state. Fuck it. And now, yeah. and now, we got murder in the ditch from your fucking attorney general. Your top <laughs> cop. Your top cop to murder the motherfucker. And not only, not only that, but there's a lot of women in positions of power, and this is going to make all the women on Savages AFs go, fuck you, Shane. Move, fuck you. Listen, there's a lot of women that are fuck, fucking up, too. 
If you look at the head of education, she's an idiot. She's a fucking idiot. Devos. And so, yeah, she's yeah, she's a DeVos. she's a rich pampered DeVos, a rich pampered cunt of a woman that has Devils. no clue of normal life in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Why would she be in charge of it? Why would you know? Why would we put Ben Carson in charge of fucking housing? Like, hey, nigga, go make sure the houses are clean. Um, that's basically what he did. And in this situation, him being the top cop, every cop that's underneath him is going to basically co-sign what he says because he's the main man. He, I mean, if you look at it this way, just like um, lower Bill lower lower the bar. Um, William below yeah, the bar. Well, William below the bar. Um, <laughs> the same shit, man. Same shit. Nobody's gonna go against if he, even if he did kill this man and hit him and he was drinking. Nobody's gonna fucking co-sign that, and they're gonna be they're gonna co-sign anything he says. That's right. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you, he's gonna get off. And I think he did was drinking. And people can say you can't come to that conclusion. How the fuck what, do you, you know, not no, no. know? No, no. It, well, here's the thing. Like he he you know he said I wasn't drinking that night, and I can produce you know several witnesses who can attest to that. But I'm gonna repeat again. Drinking ain't the only thing that can have you fucked up on the road. I mean, it could even be exhaustion, to be honest. You could be on it nothing. It could be cocaine. It could, it could be... be, man, mescaline, goddamn weed. It could be a bunch of shit. He could have been on pure GHB. <laughs> you know what I mean? He could have been on a bunch of shit. But this is just, PCP, you know what it is? It, goddamn crap. Damn, you went there, PCP. He got out, lifted the car up on his own. He could have been cracked the fuck out and, and, and called but, up the homie and be like, hey, remember that time I made you share? Okay, so check this out. Uh, you ain't so uh, nothing, I, I think I hit this dude. I don't know if I hit him, but they, I'm not they, sure. I mean, they get pills like, you know, D, 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 D. That's a whole lot of D, D, threes shit. D, D, three. God. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, it could be pills. It could be pills. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be. He, he, they could have rolled up and he was crushing shit on the fucking dashboard. Like, I don't know what happened, dog, but it just fucking jumped out. In that man, head. that deer. He kept going that, and then, goddamn, it was fun, man. It was fun. Yeah, but we it's the it's a, it's a dick chain see a thing. Body? <laughs> like, he, he yeah, exactly. fucking boys in the hood, like, y'all want to see a dead body? And then well, come the with me. Day, they're like, oh shit, we shouldn't have done that. Um, so either but way, it, no, it's don't, just, don't, it, you can't blame it on the alcohol. You can't yeah, you can that. blame it on all kind of it other stuff. And what it shows me is the sheriff. That's the same thing. The reason I have lack of empathy is because, uh, and I know this is built up over years, is because look at what the sheriff done. The, the sheriff, I mean, uh, not the sheriff, what the, the top cop did, called the sheriff, and he's co signing with all his people saying he didn't do it, he didn't know, and all that other stuff. I can say, I didn't know I did something, I'm still going to be guilty of it. And I just don't think he is. And the police do so much <laughs> corrupt shit. Especially there, I'm not. I don't think he's gonna go to jail, even if they find that he was the one to hit this man. I bet you he don't go to jail, and it's, I mean, that's what makes black at, people at, mad. At this point, I think he's admitted that he's hit this dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, they, they no, they came back the next day, and uh, because he, here's the thing, his vehicle was so fucked up that it wasn't drivable. So the sheriff that he called allowed him to use the sheriff's vehicle because understand. This is your boss. Your boss has just called you to the scene and said, <laughs> I hit something. And y'all can't find the body of whatever you hit. So his car's too fucked up to drive. He gives him his sheriff's car, and the sheriff drives the fucked up Attorney General Ford Torres to his house. And then the next day, they come, oh, back. Guilty. Fuck they come back to the spot and they find a fucking body a few feet away in the ditch. Why didn't they why didn't they do something that night? You're the fucking sheriff. Why'd you come back the next day? Thought Get it was some a spotlight deer. now. Thought it was a deer. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, you gonna, you're gonna bring out the helicopter search party for the deer? No, I just think no. that he knew. By I the way, by the way, the 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 victim. The true victim, the man who lost his life, Joseph Bover, uh, his car, he did get into some sort of accident where his car bailed into a ditch on the side of the road. It hit a bale of hay. Um, 
his cousins, the one who, 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 the ones who are pursuing this, uh, Nick and Victor, came to pick him up. Uh, we're going to take him back to his truck the next day. Um, but at some point, he decided late Saturday night to leave the house himself and go out on the road to go get the truck himself. So we don't know all the pieces, but it's I know, goddamn, but it sounds it's goddamn shady. It it's does so sound fishy. Shady when it sounds shady as fuck. And and you, and, that, you, you know what? That was a deer. How do you not know a, how, the different? Like deer in headlights is a thing, bro. <laughs> like like a deer is clearly different than a fifty-five year old man. So to think you hit a deer. Um, you were either driving with your eyes closed and just took a guess based on the sound of what you hit. You know what I mean? Like you're like, right. hey, sound like a deer. You know, I don't know. Or it sounds it sounds shady. You don't know what a deer looks like, or you don't know what a 55 year old white man looks like. And as a white man, I would find the last two to be hard to. Miss Adverb was like, uh, was any of them wearing masks? Okay, over listen. Their eyes, maybe over their eyes. Okay, that's yeah, the that's what'll happen. Mask and then, malfunction. Um, Mask malfunction will be the yes. probable defense. It's like and Eve is going to hell. What she said. Eve's going to hell. Eve, she said, Where, "Dude, where's my car?" The deer. That's <laughs> fucked up. She also said, "Was the deer wearing a mask?" So yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of questions to ask in this guy. A lot of them. A lot of shady shit went down, but um. Speaking of shady shit, and uh, we might have to go longer tonight because we're a little bit behind on the show, and we uh, we had a restart. Um, I, I think I we, we should be good. We, should we be had good. a restart too, and, and and we're on your feed. No, so no, we, I'm saying yeah, we but we can go. We can go. Hours. We can go 37 hours on your feed. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's how I never... popular, and that's why you need to keep following at comedian Shane so that you can get and more savage at Black AF, Pedro. more savage AF every day of the week, guys. Um. um <laughs> but Saturday I got to say, somebody said that gave you the, another award, King of the Segways. Is so that me? is that what I'm doing? You now? got another award, uh, <laughs> you know. So, all right. So you're doing you're doing well. Uh, uh, we so this 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 past weekend, I was I witnessed the Saturday Saints again. I, I, you know, maybe some of you guys have seen some some of my posts, but on uh, on Saturdays in Beverly Hills, the Trumpy Dumpty supporters gather. Uh, at, you know, at this sort of central spot in in in, in uh, Beverly Hills, I'm sorry. And usually they stay confined to that area, but like literally just as I was getting into my shift, because we we kind of get in there and we t we take a break right away, and then we just work through the rest of the night, right? So she came off my break, and I'm I'm hitting the floor, and and I'm approaching, you know. A, a, a younger black couple, right? That that's my first table of the night. And as I'm approaching, it's not it's not even night yet. The sun's not down. The freak shouldn't even be out. But as I'm as as I'm approaching the table, escorted by the police, is a is a, sm a small faction but loud. This woman has a a, a megaphone, a, a bullhorn, I should say, and uh, she's just yelling that whole QAnon shit like. You do you really want a, a, a ring of, pe of pedophiles running this country? I mean, really pedophiles, and you know the the police are the police are escorting them, and 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 maybe they were just more like shoveling them down the street, but like they're they're on a major street in in Beverly Hills, like right, shoveling. and that's like a, a thoroughfare where you know it it easily can be clogged up by these idiots, and she's yelling at our whole patio. And both sides of the street, like there are some, you know, pretty famous restaurants right on along the strip, and like they're just screaming this shit at the. And again, I go back to what I told y'all like last week. Like there are uh, open groups that are trying to Nam Nambla is a group. You don't have to fantasize or fetishize Hollywood about uh, Joe Biden or AOC or anybody, whatever. There whatever. are people uh, that that's their thing. thing. Like. There are actual people openly advocating for pedophilia, and they weren't in the streets yelling against that. So uh, it was just interesting to be in this place here, and I could feel it among this young black couple. So I just greeted them like, hello, my queen. Hello, my king. I hope y'all are doing better. 
we'll we'll get through this together. Don't worry. You know what I mean? Like that that I never greeted a table like that in my life. <laughs> But were, were, were they but, aggressive? Were they, was, was the woman aggressive? And were they acting like, I mean, she, some of them act really aggressive. Like, like, she, and then I had was, to check a couple like, yo, yeah, she was, you don't want the, you don't want the smoke. So I, she was a Karen and, and I'm at work. Oh shit. You know, and she had a bullhorn. Like I said, she was megaphoning it like, yeah, like amplifying her voice. Um, you know, within feet of us or whatever, like more than six feet, but, <laughs> you know, uh, less distance than you need for a fucking megaphone, right? Like, like it's in your fucking face. Uh, like I said, I'm just stepping onto the, the floor to the gig. So, like, you know, I can't quite react the way I want to. You know, if I could, yeah, but you, if you, I could, you, you I would, yeah, I you're at work, but you you could have called me, man. Well, I would have, I would have came down. I would have taken because you know, like they were they were filming it, and other people were filming it, at, you know, as spectacle, not not as something celebrated. But um, the drink cake, the drink tray I was carrying, I literally wanted to Captain America that shit, like young guy, like like bounce that shit off her fucking forehead and catch it. Like, can I get you guys any uh, still sparkling or tap? Like you know, like. Just so right let me let me ask you guys. Let, let me get right off her forehead. Let me that. ask everybody here on Savage AF, brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure you show, check out the website downstairs. Make there, make sure you check out the website. I am shang.com backslash merch. You can get a don't be average, be savage, be savage. t-shirt. Don't yeah. fucking new shit. Don't fuck around. And you can also we got masks. We rocking with that. Also, make sure Noob. you check us out on iTunes. L Noops in the building. We got check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, or Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Um, we're on all platforms. Don't get it twisted. Savage AF is worldwide. Don't fuck around and not do it. Tell your friends when we're on here between six and seven p.m. Usually we go we go a little bit longer uh, uh, on Tuesdays through Thursday, and then Friday three p.m. to four p.m. Wanted to get that out the way and. Do it. I want to ask what you guys think, because I know, obviously, um, Pedro wanted to Captain America these bitches. What do y'all think of that QAnon shit? The fact that they think that, well, they all want to fuck the children, and they eat pizza between the children fucking. <laughs> they fuck the children, and they eat pizza, and it's not regular back pizza. It's that pepperoni pizza with the, with the pineapple on it, because they're Hollywood people, and they like that pineapple on their fucking pizza. I mean, they're just... So insane. They said that they're aliens and they're drinking the blood of babies. And they said that the black people are, are, are a cult of color. And they just, all the craziness. And yet, two of these motherfuckers is going to fucking, they're going to be in Congress. Two of them, they said, most likely win. QAnon followers will be in Congress. The president retweets QAnon craziness. Now, Donnie B says it's distractions. No, these motherfuckers really believe that shit. They really are into that shit. So I just think that the bottom line is you, 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 you're you at work, you got to chill. But, man, I mean, we you don't see us running over them in the middle of the street with our cars. Yeah, but no, but we have seen that side run over people <clears throat> with their car. And, and not only run over, kill people. Yeah. And then and maim people with their car. And the one time... The one time we could have did it, we didn't do it. God damn it! Right, right. Um, you know, yeah, man. So th these are. I never understood that. I don't even like girls in 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 their teens. I've seen badass young girls, but I go, Ugh, I don't know no, who wants no, like I mean, I, no, people. Dude, that's not the, listen, yeah, that's just creepy to me. No, no. And, but and the fact so, that they're using that again, and they said Biden. He said Biden is one of them. Yeah, no. It, it, he retweets bullshit like that, and uh. But but you know it it, it is interesting and, and I don't want you guys to think that there are tens of thousands of people out here in Beverly Hills every Saturday, it, it, you know, maybe maybe a couple hundred gather in the in the park, but that that's a small still. Number. But um, they I I think they represent uh, something else. Um, but it is interesting that they're willing to come out and blast like this while not dealing with more obvious examples of, of of the thing that they they hate you know which is pedophilia which we all hate right like obviously yeah who's, yeah, who's like yeah, yeah fuck the kid yeah. yeah yeah but rather than make up this whole goddamn garbage about some secret society in hollywood um why not just deal with the motherfuckers who are openly like 
but baby butts are the best butts. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there are motherfuckers out there who say that shit out loud. And you're like, you know what? If you want to fight this shit. We are going to hell. No, you did not say quoting, baby butts are the best. I'm, I didn't say I know no, what you yeah. Black Pedro didn't say that. <laughs> but No, no, no. I'm just saying that they, there's a, people yeah, that say that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm but, saying. But if somebody that. tuned in late and all they, <laughs> if they but, tuned but, in if you, if and, you just and, tuned and right now, they'd be like, yeah. Like if baby, you like me, baby yeah, butt? Yeah, when you tu- if you tuned in and all you heard me say was baby butts are the best butts, then first of all, fuck your feelings and welcome to Savage first of all, AF. Let's start there. Because let's start right you there. You ain't, that's yeah. out of context and don't judge me like that. First of all, because you don't know me like that. So listen to the whole show and then go back and follow us on iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify to get the whole yes. context of all the shit that we talk. And then you'll get a better picture of what's going on. Uh, but that being said, yeah, why not fight the motherfuckers who are openly obsessed with this because shit? Because they don't. It's, it's the tribalism it's, it's, it's of ignorance. We, yeah, we know it. It's the distraction of tribalism of ignorance, and they have been ignorant. And you know what? There's not a lot of people of color that's part of QAnon, and that's just a fact. <laughs> so right now, I saw on the news, and it was a, it was, it was a white dude that said this. It was a European-American. He said that um, the the majority that had bought into the bullshit from Trump, QAnon, the, the fact that he's trying to say, I didn't say that, even though I heard you, you heard me say it. And even though Bob Woodward's book is clear as a bell and I have recordings, 39 hours of recordings of it, I didn't say it. <laughs> the people are buying into it are majority white. I'm sorry, Shane. You always, while you're saying the most serious shit, I'm, I'm listening to you and reading the comments and typically what it's, they like, say? it's either miss it's either like eve rva gourmet or uh, of course this time miss adverb i saw um, i saw eve go uh, laughing her ass off at miss adverb so i had to scroll back up and she goes i like baby butts and i cannot lie and i, <laughs> I have to do the certain mix a lot voice because i know that's the voice that she was doing but <laughs> yeah and, and and somebody else said baby's got butts yeah he got baby's butts. got butts yeah, Why are we even on that? Yeah, uh, uh, we, we reverted, but you were on some real shit, brother. And I and no, 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 it's okay now. You know what? You know what? It's a, the pedophilia thing is is real. I'm just saying most of the people that are buy into that shit are not people of color. That's just a fact. I'm not being a, a racist. If you look at the people that are buying into Trump's bullshit, the majority. I watched. I looked at all the fucking rallies on on TV. No bullshit. Bulk of them. Or Caucasian. Yeah. The bulk by the way, of the people that are buying into this shit. By, by the way, by the way, um, you know, while we don't subscribe to these conspiracy theories about uh, a, a <laughs> you know, sort of group of demons that are, you know, child fucking and drinking baby juice in Hollywood yeah. and, and, and the government. Um, well, we're in Hollywood, so. If you, if, you, if, you, if you want to go down that road, just understand that your boy Trumpy Dumpty Highly associated with Jeffrey Epstein, uh, a name that is often involved in that circle. And he did wish Jelaine Mas- uh, Maxwell uh, the best. Uh, and she is also yep. said, said to be a part of that. So if you're going to feed into that as a Dumpty supporter, just, under- just, just look at your boy within that. 